A newcomer to the big leagues is interviewed about a milestone moment in his young career. The show has baseball coming your way from Tropicana Field here in St. Petersburg. This evening, an exciting pairing of wild card contenders between the Minnesota Twins and the Tampa Bay Rays. Two of the top clubs in the American League face off in a potential wild card preview next. Sean Manaya gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, he wasn't all that bad in his last one, pitching into the sixth inning to pick up the win. We'll see if he can go a little bit deeper in this one. Next to hit is Dave Bobo, and a great chance here for the Rays to add on in just the first inning. From the belt, the pitch. And the ball, 1 0. And guys, as we take a look at the Twins at the start of play here tonight, they'll look to make it three straight here as they come in on the heels of two straight wins. Yeah, Maddie, this is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They scored a bunch of runs last game, and this team is flying high right now. This is a fight at the bat rack. Line drive, snagged on a short hop. On the second for the force out, and the side is retired. A couple of hits lead to a run here for Tampa Bay. We'll head to the second inning here in St. The next twin up, Jan Gomes. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Softly hit to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Down go the Twins in order. They're down 1-0. So next to bat will be Babe now Bobo. Shortstop, Babe Bobo. Hey, come on now. And now the first pitch. Right Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for more. Behind 0-2 now. Here one time. Nothing in two count and the pitch. High chopper to third. He's got it. And there's out number oh. two. He's out. 
your attention, please. And now, Babe Bobo and he bounced out Bobo last Ray. time up. The shortstop, Babe Bobo. First pitch coming. Here it is. Mm, a little tardy oh, there. No balls and a strike. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. Ball. Off the plate. Attaboy, attaboy. One He's ball, down. one strike. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Hey, one time, right now. The 1-1. One, one. Fouled away. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. And he'll reach to start the inning as this ball gets through him, a base hit. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hit streak going. You know what, and this could be, this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. Now a throw over. No, he a dive, but he's back. And another throw over. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. And a rip right here. The 0 2 delivery. Swing and a miss, strike three. The throw. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. Got to question the decision to run on an 0-2 count there. Sure, pitchers are more likely to waste the pitch in that count, but you also run the risk of... One home. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Step on the back for one. Uh, he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Now at the plate, Babe Bobo singled in his last at bat. Babe Bobo. Here's the first pitch. Ball one, no strike. Seven runs, ten hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. One ball, one strike, the count. No count offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Rooker will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. I expect this series to be a battle, so to take the first game at home is definitely the way you want to start it out. Give that home crowd a reason to come back tomorrow for what will hopefully be another solid performance. Seven to four is the final score in tonight's game. The Tampa Bay Rays jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Sean Manaya earns his eighth victory of the season. The Nick Anderson closes the door for the save, for the number 36 play. on the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. No for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Time of the ball game, three hours and 31 minutes. Now under the dome tonight, MLB the
the show has baseball from Tropicana Field. This evening, an exciting pairing of wild card contenders between the Minnesota Twins and the Tampa Bay Rays. Two playoff hopefuls duke it out for wild card standing. Next. Trevor Richards is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Tampa Bay. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're going to get a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just. He's got first. He's safe. So here is All right, David Bobo. Right here. Let's That's go. Let's look Hey, Bobo. Here we go. This is you, baby. And now the first pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. And they're going to get on the board here with the sack fly, but there's still work to be done. Down five to one. Great job of offensive execution there. Lead off triple and then the sack fly to bring home a run. Ball four, take the ball. At the plate now is Mitch Garver, who struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Here's a high pop up. Bobo shading to his right, and he makes the catch for the second out. Stepping in next, Babe Bobo notched an RBI on the sack fly in his previous turn at the plate. First offering on its way. Pitch is popped up. Sano is in his tracks now. And he's got it for out number two. Now back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Stepping in, Aaron Whitefield. Aaron Whitefield. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Just an excellent job of bat head discipline right there. Able to go below the zone. That pitch is not a strike. That was actually a pretty nasty pitch. And he was able to go down and spoil it. Next to dig in, Babe Bobo. Stop. Babe Bobo. First offering. Takes this the other way to right, and that'll get down for a base hit. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. They'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Boy, after that base knock right there, D'Lo, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Swinging a blooper to the right side. And the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. The love of the game runs deep with these. He's out. You're a Seventh inning ready to roll and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Miguel Sano. No, you're only down one right here, but the exploding stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' bullpens. I mean, just north of 95 plus stuff diving all over the plate. It's gotten a lot tougher to scratch across runs against these teams' bullpens. Slow roller out to short. To first Got and a it. big out to start the seventh. One gone. So stepping in is Mitch Garver right trying to bring in the tying run from third here. Garver. 
Hit out towards second. Merrifield picks it up. Bare-handed for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. One pitch, two outs. Pitcher's best friend to end the inning. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Next to hit, Babe Bobo singled in his last at bat. Babe Bobo. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down and away, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. He's driving right back to the pitcher. Huh, now? Nothing in two count and the pitch. Weakly hit to third. Reined in. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So the next to bat will be Brent Rooker. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Hostadio aboard here at first with nobody out. Bouncer to the left side. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Usually these guys turn that 6-4-3 double play in their sleep, but it looks like he rushed the feed just a little bit. You have to be sure to get at least one out. Now we'll see if the guy on the mound. So a runner at first now with one away. No, and up next is good. Alex Kirilov. Alex. Runners on first with one down. One out, one out. Hit on the ground is short. He's right there. There's Merrifield. On to first, and he rolls the double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Boy, I'll tell you, not all wins are created equal. There's something really satisfying about being down five runs and you band together to find a way to get that win. They've got a huge bounce in their step heading into their next game. Nine to seven, the final score in this ball game. The Rays wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Jordan Yamamoto earns the victory out of the bullpen number 10 on the year. Nick Anderson wraps it up for the save, his 37th of the year. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskirchen. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Time of the ball game. Four hours and 16 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. This evening, an exciting pairing of wild card contenders between the Minnesota Twins and the Tampa Bay Rays. Two of the top clubs in the American League face off in a potential wild card preview. Next. Ryan Yarbrough will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on. But I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command. That'll bring up Luis Arides. He's coming off a three hit performance in the loss last night. Luis The wind up and the 0 1. Hit on the ground out to short. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Digging in will be Babe Bobo. You've seen that average that climb good. during his seven-game hitting that. streak. Babe Bobo.
first pitch on its way. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. And quickly, there are two away. Next, here is Mitch Garver. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Ready on 0 and 2. Grounded to the right. He's got it. There's one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play, and the inning is over. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Rays lead it one to nothing. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Babe Bobo grounded out in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's in there for strike one. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Making the catch is Gomes, and that's out number two. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and stepping up is the shortstop, Babe Bobo. First delivery to him. And yeah, there's a base hit on the line. Find it, find it, find it. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Man, you smoked that game. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that? No doubt about it right now. He's swinging the bat really well, and after that knock right there, hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at, so you can say, hey, he's going to hold calendar week with at least one day six, so there's a lot of positives going on right now. The 0 2 pitch. High and deep to right center. Racing back the right fielder. The track to the wall. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. So it's a two run shot to right center. His second home run of the game as the Rays have opened up a 3 0 lead. the manager I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy I mean he's hit three home runs against them in this series what more do they need to see four five she's enough is enough That brings up Alex Kirillov. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at bats thus far. A bouncer up the middle. Merrifield scoops it up to second for one. On the first, it's a double play as their woes continue. The inning is over. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. It is stretch time here in Tampa. We'll stretch. Now to bat, Babe Bobo singled in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Swung on and missed for the first strike. All the makings of a big inning right here. One already left a yard, and the power hitters are coming up. 
Weak grounder down the first baseline. Go Keep hard, go hard, go step hard. On first himself for the out. Now into the box, Luis Arias. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, pretty impressive if you ask me. So many times you beat a sinker into the ground, you end up grounding out the third. You're running down to first base, and you're so upset at yourself. At least he got under the thing. He knows his bat plane is pretty decent. On the first, and it's a double play, although the run does come in to score from third. Yeah, you know, that's a big wasted opportunity. Even though a run does score on the play, they're still down and trading two outs at this point, and the game is really costly. Not a good turn of events for them. Good job there to slam the door for the win, and they finish the bunk with a bang just the way you want to. A 4-1 to one finish in this evening's game. Tampa Bay jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Ryan Yarbrough earns his eighth victory of the season as he finished just one out shy of nine complete innings. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. For the twins, one run, four hits, no errors, they left four men on base.